Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna do like a midway, mid-year recap of some things um, and fill you in on what's going on. All my videos are continually, are continued to be taken down um, other than some from way back when, but uh, stick around and here's what's going on. First off, I'm in a new apartment. Again, this is like within six months I've moved. I've moved twice. Um, there were some things at my old apartment that were causing some challenges. So I don't wanna make this a super long video and I will say off the, bat, off the bat that I can't share everything that is happening with life right now. I have to be so cautious about social media and um, I intend to do that moving forward. Where do I even start? Let's talk about the house. Uh, I did move. I was living in a place where it was really wonderful, nice and big and had plenty of room. Um, however, I was on the second floor and there was a woman um, who didn't like any sound, any sound at all. She, she, if I walked too hard, she would bang on the ceiling. The day that I was moving in, she came up to me and said, oh, hi, my name is, and I just wanna let you know that there's no banging or loud noises um, allowed on in, in the unit. And she goes, the people that lived there before me, uh, before me, she's like, the people that lived there before you, when they would make, noise, I would take my broom and bang on the ceiling. And literally she did that. Uh, and I just was like, okay, all right, hi. And I just went on with my day. Uh, so for six months, she caused me so much stress and anxiety. One time I had a friend over and he was about to walk out the front door and he just walked to the door and she banged on the ceiling. And he goes, what was that? And I said, oh, my neighbor, she's just a psycho. Um, and he says, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I was like, I know. Uh, so I got to the point where I was like, I can't live in this stress. Like it's too much to, and too much anxiety. And the crappy part is when I would walk into my apartment, I had to walk down the side of the apartment to my stairwell and her apartment was like right there. And I walked by her windows and I just, every day felt like this person was staring at me and looking at me at my every move. And then one day she gets a camera, my stairwell. It was for me and her, and that is it. And she gets a, a camera that she puts on her door and angles it to the stairs to watch me go up and down. No one else used these stairs other than myself. It was, you walk up the stairs and you're at my apartment. Long story short, I just got sick and tired of it. I was tired of it and decided that I needed to move uh, before they can just continue to stress me out and cause me more, more problems. Thankfully, my landlord let me out of the unit uh, without breaking my lease. He gave me my entire security deposit back um, and just let me go. So now I moved into this wonderful brand new place um, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's got like a backyard and things like that. And I'll show you guys that a little bit. I'll just pop it on the screen. Um, other than that, I'm in a new spot. Uh, I don't want to say where it is in Los Angeles, but I gave a lot of details out in the past about my house and where I was living. Um, and people, people even commented, I know that area. So I'm not going to say where I'm at. I'm in Los Angeles, uh, similar area. Um, you know, sometimes I'll see people at Starbucks or whatever and they'll, oh, hey, I watch your stuff. Um, and that's cool. I don't worry about that. But like, there were people that were like, I know exactly where you live. And I was like, this is kind of scary. So, um, no, I'm not gonna share that. Uh, okay, what else is going on? Uh, foster care. I, I still, I'm still gonna just keep things super 
quiet right now. We don't need details about that. But what I will say is that I'm in the middle of writing a book. So I talked about um, having a little project that I'm doing and I am writing a book um, and I'm excited about that. Uh, again, no details about children. It's not about the kids. It's about me and what fostering has been like for me um, as a foster parent. And you know, like it's emotional, it's hard at times. And especially like never having raised children before so I wanna talk about that, talk about the process of getting licensed and you guys know like my story and like why I came this route and talk about how I wanted to do private adoption first and what it's been like to watch friends in person in my real life or friends on the internet and social media adopt children or uh, have surrogacy, surrogate, women do surrogacy to have their child or IVF or whatever you wanna call it. You know, while I'm still trying to like adopt, right? Like I wanna talk about those emotions and what it's like for me and what it was like for me and is like experiencing those things. Um, I wanna discuss like the friends that I have and how they played a, a role in the whole process for me. Educate people on the system. Um, so it's it will be written sort of as a memoir, but at the same time with bits of educational parts throughout it. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. So I wanna, I'm taking it slow and uh, I hope to have the first draft finished by like August or September, probably September now that I think about it. Um, and at which point I will have a couple friends read it, give me their feedback, and then I'll go do another draft um, until it's perfect, and then I'll get an editor and things like that. Um, so the reason I mentioned uh, August, September is because I also went back to school. Um, I've been wanting to go back to school for a while now. Carly, what are you doing? She's been really scared because of the move. Um, so she's not eating and Carly, get out of there. She's going to the sink all the time. Anyway, I went back to school studying philosophy. Uh, I wanted to finish the degree and I did my first semester back since I was 23 years old. I just turned 37, 37 last week. Um, so I, uh, I did finish the semester. I had three classes. I got one A and two Bs and um, my next semester is is the fall semester. It's gonna be intense. I have like religious studies, um, we're studying the Old Testament. I have English, uh, literature and composition. Um, I have philosophy, I think it's ethics two, and then a philosophy ancient Greek, and then a communications class, which is gender and sexuality. So those are like really intensive courses. Um, I'm excited for them. Uh, I think I might end up dropping one, but I'm not really sure. So I wanna have the book, at least the first draft done before I go back to school. Um, that's, that's about it right now, guys. I think the last thing I'll say is I'm not posting a lot. And, and trust me, oh my God, trust me, I want to so bad. I want to so very bad. You have no idea, but I can't and I won't. Um, I'm Carly, get out of there. Gosh, um, I, uh, I'm not, I'm not, so I can't. And, um, but I will pop in, I don't know, in a month, two, three, four months. And hopefully when I do post, you know, you guys uh, listen, it's, it was, it's sad because I built this channel up so well. And now I just have to not post. Um, but I, I am open to doing some more educational type videos about the system. So if you do have questions uh, or specific videos you guys want me to do, uh, let me know and I'll talk about those things. Uh, but if you don't comment and you don't let me know, then I don't know what to post about. <laughs> so I'll just hold off. Uh, but I'll definitely do an update uh, toward the beginning of fall for sure. But that's where I'm at right now, guys. Uh, just trust me when I say 
there's a reason to the madness. Hang in there. Keep, just keep hanging around, all right? All right? I love you all so much. Bye.